One country is 88 here. I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own fish food. I've watched several uh, do-yourself fish food tutorials um, and a lot of forms. And I went ahead and went to uh, Sam's Club. They had a seafood combo a mix. There's uh, tilapia, crab, shrimp, uh, squid, octopus. Just about every every seafood food you could think of. Is in this bag. Uh, I got it for twelve ninety eight. It's a five pound bag. It's gonna make a lot of food. Um, and I'm also gonna add some of the uh, new life spectrum uh, Terra Plus A um, fish food. Um, just to you know, because it has more nutrients in it. it. Has different things like krill and stuff that's in there. It also helps with the color. And the other thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some water. This is not regular drinking water. This is R O D I water. So I'm not adding more phosphates or anything to my tank. The next thing you're gonna need is a old blender or food processor because this stuff will blend or this will stain your blender and leave a really foul, foul smell in it. So you wanna you wanna use another blender or something that's not your mom's or your, your wife's or your girlfriend's because they will get very upset. One thing I forgot to mention to you guys, you guys are also going to need uh, Ziploc bags. Um, I will show you guys what, what, what it's for further into the video. So uh, just excuse me while I go and wash. Um, you can continue to rinse the uh, food out real quick. Guys, I've gone ahead and I've rinsed out really, really well for about, I want to say 10 minutes in a bag. All I did was I poked a bunch of holes in the bottom of the bag and then just stuck it underneath my actual uh, water and then I let it sit and drain all the water out for a really really long time just to make sure you get all the bad water out this stuff is like really good like there's different stuff in there I think this is octopus right here got crab uh, scallops shrimp um, mussel and I wanted to try and find a piece of fish for you I think this is a piece of fish right here but really really good uh, here's another piece of uh, that's shrimp but a really good blend of uh, meaty foods, um, like I said, and I'll be adding this stuff too to it just to give it a little diversity. I was going to try and get some seaweed wrap or some seaweed, but I'm actually going to do different. Um, I'm going to do something for them later um, or probably just go out and get some, some uh, sushi wrap for them. But this is, this is it. This is all you really need right now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start mixing it up for you. Zoom in. And I just <laughs> I just found a, uh, a uh, mussel shell. So just a uh, note to keep eye out for that. That really they don't want to eat that or digest that. So just keep an eye out for that. I'm gonna do small doses. Um, I don't really want to do a whole lot. I'll add more if it gets a little bit more. And then you don't want it liquefied. You do not want it. You want it a little bit chunky um, so that the fish has something to eat. Um, really, it's also really good for corals too. Uh, corals that actually like meaty food too. Um, they'll, they'll devour this really fast. Okay, I think that's enough for now. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this. That's good for that. And I'm going to add my RODI water. That should be good for now. If I need more, I'll add more. Like I said, get a different blender. Get something used. Go to Goodwill. This is from Savers. Go to somewhere where you're not worried about ruining it. So here we go. Kind of overspilled a little bit.
Yeah, good to see you guys. Really chunky. Got some bits right there. All I'm really gonna do. So I'm gonna get a Ziploc bag. Make sure you get a nice sealable Ziploc bag. Freezer Ziploc bag. Let me rephrase that. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pour this in here. Just like that. Try to get out as much as I can. This stuff is, is very thick paste. Seal the bag as best as you can. Make sure it's really, really sealed. And then you're gonna lay it flat. And then get most of the air out. Reseal it again. Okay. And you're gonna lay it flat just like that. And what you're gonna do is so you're gonna put it in the freezer and it's going to uh, freeze just like this. Um, it's just like your basic food from you get from a fish store, only this is only going to cost $13. And you're going to make, for $13, you're going to make, I want to say probably like five, six, seven bags of this. And this right here is going to last you two, three months at least tops. So I'm really saving a lot of money on this. Um, I just want to show you guys the better further your guys' uh, savings in, in the saltwater hobby. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this in the, the freezer. I'm going to go ahead and make up the rest of it. I have all this left. I barely used maybe maybe not even a full hand or a scoop of hand. But uh, really, really good. There's a lot of uh, uh, food left. I'm going to make a bunch of this. If you guys like my video, go ahead and uh, like down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way, you guys can keep up to date on uh, all my videos in the future.